Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Mindy Banks. I'm the Flip Flop Chef. Today I'm going to show you how to make blueberry hand pies using Pampered Chef's Hand Pie and Pocket Maker. If this is the first video of mine that you're watching, I hope you'll click the subscribe button while you're here. And also, I'd love for you to go to my website, theflipflopchef.com, and join my recipe community. I have thousands of recipes and I give away every single week. And you can find the community by clicking the button at the top of the page on my website. So let's go ahead and make some hand pies. I have not made these since... I, this particular kind since the air fryer launched and I did my air fryer video. A lot of you guys have seen that video. Um, we have come up with some great new tools that I'm going to be able to show you today to make the same recipe in the same great air fryer. So I'm going to show you the hand pie and pocket maker today. We're going to make blueberry hand pies. They're going to be delicious. I can't wait to eat one myself. So this recipe is in the cooking guide for the deluxe air fryer and you can also find it on my website. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna make the filling for our blueberry hand pies and I'm going to take one of my silicone prep bowls and some homemade blueberry jam. So I made this jam in the deluxe cooking blender this morning so my kitchen has been smelling good all day long. So we're gonna need about one fourth of a cup of blueberry jam and the cool thing is our new extra large scoop it is one fourth of a cup and the really cool thing is they actually put that on the inside of the scoop so if you forget you can just look right on there. So four tablespoons is the same as a quarter of a cup so I'm going to just scoop out one quarter of a cup, so one scoop of the jam. And we're gonna add a little bit of lemon zest to this and some fresh blueberries. So I'm gonna take my lemon and I have my Pampered Chef adjustable zester. So it's adjustable because that handle is adjustable here. I'm gonna take this little uh, food holder off because I don't need that for the lemon. The lemon won't fit in there. And I'm just gonna zest a little bit of lemon zest in here. I would not leave this out. The lemon is going to add so much flavor to this. And then we need a quarter cup of fresh blueberries. And if you're interested in learning how to make jams and jellies in the Pampered Chef Deluxe Cooking Blender, um, I have videos on my channel showing you how to do that. I thought I saw a blueberry roll out, but maybe not. <laughs> I'm going to just mix this together. So we have the fresh blueberries, blueberry jam, and a little bit of lemon zest. Okay, so we're gonna mix that, and then that's gonna be ready to go in our hand pies. I'm gonna go ahead, oh, I forgot to get the egg out of the fridge. Let me grab an egg real quick. I meant to do that ahead of time. I like to let it become room temperature, um, but I'll go ahead and crack this egg in my egg separator, because we're gonna need that egg white in just a little bit to brush the tops of our hand pies. So I grew up with my grandparents living in our basement and my grandparents made amazing fried peach pies and of course they fried them in oil and the really cool thing is we have this amazing air fryer and so we can actually reduce the amount of oil that we're using. Um, you could either spray these with oil or you could just brush them with an egg white which is what we're going to do today and so it's much much better for us even though I don't know that anything can taste as good as our grandparents' fried pies, right? Or anything our grandparents made for us. They're the best. <laughs> so let's get our circles cut. I'm going to take some flour. This is in our powdered sugar shaker, and I'm just going to sprinkle this flour on top of my pastry mat. And I love this pastry mat because it has circles with the measurements written right on it. So there's no guesswork if you're rolling this out to a certain size. I'm using a refrigerated pie crust. So this is half of the package. Um, I already used the other one to make a chicken pot pie for dinner tonight. So stay tuned for that recipe. All right. And pop this out. You do want to let your dough um, sit out of the refrigerator for about 20 or 30 minutes. Otherwise, it is going to be um, uh, too hard to open and unroll and it will break and it's really hard to get it put back together. Ask me how I know <laughs> because I've done that before. So you can't skip that step. All right, I'm going to take my tapered rolling pin and I'm just going to roll out this dough into a nice big circle. I'm going to try to do 12 inches here and that's the largest circle that's on my mat. Now the trick here is you're not putting a ton of pressure. You're just putting just enough pressure on this um, <clears throat> to roll it and press it out. Okay, 
So that is good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our hand pie and pocket maker. I'm going to take it apart and show you all the different pieces so that you know what you're going to get with this. So it has three pieces. They all snap together nicely here um, for storage. This is our little measuring spoon, which we're going to use in just a few minutes. And then there are two more pieces. So this is your circle cutter, which we're going to cut a few circles with this here in just a few minutes. And then um, what we're going to do is we're going to actually seal them with um, we're going to seal them with the circle cutter as well. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. We're going to make these into circles rather than half moons. But this has a piece that is foldable. So if you wanted to make um, half fried pies, that's kind of the way my grandparents made them. They were kind of like half moons. Then you could do it that way. Now, I'm making a half of a recipe today because I use my crust for something else for my chicken pot pie. So um, I'm only going to be making a half of a recipe. But the recipe would use a full package of those dough, uh, the pie crust dough. So we're going to go ahead and cut our circle. So let's see how many I can get. Try to stay as close to that corner as I can. I'm trying to get four. I believe that this um, recipe makes eight. Yeah. So since I'm doing a half, I'm going to only need four of these. Um, Let's see. All right, and I'm gonna make these in whole um, pieces. So we're gonna put this on here. So this is gonna make two hand pies. So um, I can roll this out and make a few more, but I'll do that off camera. But for the video, I'm gonna show you how to make two of these. So you're gonna place this on um, the, the foldable piece here. Place it down, and here I'll zoom in. Let me get my hands clean so I can do that. I'll zoom in here so that you can see a uh, closer up look at what I'm doing. You're going to then take your, um, let's, let's see, you're going to take the little scoop that comes with your hand pine pocket maker and you're going to just scrape that filling in. You don't want to do too much. If you do too much, then <clears throat> it's going to overflow and they're not going to stay stuck together. We're going to take our, let me slide this over, I'm going to separate our egg real quick. Give this a little swirl so we can separate that. And I don't need the yolk, so I'm just toss that. And if you've never seen our egg separator before, it's pretty cool because this handle, you can open it so that it will fit on top of even a larger bowl. Um, let me grab my mini whipper. I'm not sure where that went. It's probably in the dishwasher. I used it earlier. So I'll use my mini whipper, which is my grandma's favorite product. She said she doesn't know how she made gravy without this. All those years before I started selling Pampered Chef. All right, so we're gonna whip that together and I'm gonna just brush the edges of this hand pie just like this. And then I'm gonna take another crust, I'm gonna put it on the top and then here's where this magic happens. You're gonna take this piece, do you see these two grooves? They fit right over those notches, and what you're going to do is you just press down to seal and then pop this right back up. Now let me get my air fryer tray. So I have an air fryer tray here. I'm going to put a piece of parchment paper on this tray. I like to use par parchment paper when I am doing these pockets. And then I can just pick this up like this, and then I can just flip it over right on my tray. So I'm going to show you how to do this one more time and then I'll bake these and I'll come back and I'll show you what these look like. So we'll do this again. Press down in the middle to create that well. Take a scoop of the filling. Might be a little bit too much. All right, scoop of the filling. It doesn't want to come out without a little bit of help there. And then we'll put another piece of dough right on the top after we brush our egg white on here. And I'm going to brush the tops of these two, so don't worry. I will add a little bit more. And we're going to put some cinnamon sugar on the top, too. So we're going to put this on here. And again, we're going to just line up those grooves, press down, get a nice seal. And then let me pop this out. I'm going to flip it over and put it on our tray. Now, next, 
Let me set this aside. Whoops. Try to make myself some room so I can still open that air fryer in a minute. We're going to brush this with our egg white. And then I'm going to pierce the dough just a little bit. with a knife and then we're going to mix some, this is just to vent this, so it'll let that steam out. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to mix some cinnamon and sugar. So I've got some regular sugar here and I have some cinnamon. So for this, I'm going to take two tablespoons of sugar and I'm using my um, Pampered Chef's little mini stainless scoop, which I love that. And I've got some Pampered Chef cinnamon. So hopefully you guys have some cinnamon left over from last season. This is a seasonal item from Pampered Chef. I'm gonna do a quarter teaspoon. You could even use Cinnamon Plus, which is like our pumpkin pie blend, which also is seasonal. Mix this together. And then I'm gonna sprinkle. Don't be shy. There's a lot of cinnamon sugar on there. It's gonna add so much flavor. And then these are going to bake for about 14 minutes. Now, if I was doing two trays, which I'm gonna to try to get another pocket out of this um, leftover dough here. Um, I'm sure I can get one more pocket. Um, it, the directions tell us to put one tray, um, let's see, uh, place one tray on the top rack and one on the middle rack. We're gonna set this to bake and um, at, for 14 minutes and then we will switch the cooking trays halfway through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in my air fryer and I'll go off camera for just a bit and work on making another um, hand pie. I'll bake these and then I'll come back and we're gonna make a powdered sugar drizzle to go on the top to make it even better. So stay tuned, I'll be back in a few. All right, you guys, I'm back and our hand pies are almost done in the air fryer. So we wait while we wait for those to finish, let's make the powdered sugar glaze. So we're gonna mix the glaze in a prep bowl here and I've got some powdered sugar. I'm gonna do about four tablespoons or so. So I'll do two of these stainless scoop bowls. And if you're not familiar with this scoop, I love the stainless scoop because they're inexpensive. I can throw them in my powdered sugar, my um, regular sugar, you can put it in your jar of protein, wherever you need a scoop on a regular basis. Buy as many as you need and then you have one for each container and you don't have to grab it out of the drawer and wash it every single time. So we've got our powdered sugar. Let's go ahead and cut our lemon in half here. And I think I'll probably only need one half, but what we'll do is we'll take our citrus press put the lemon in here um, and see if we need to add any more juice. I just want to make a glaze. This is a really, really big lemon. Let's see if that's enough. I'm going to take my small whisk. Oh, I think that's going to be almost perfect, maybe perfect consistency here. So this is what we're going for. You see this is kind of a, it's not super, super wet, but it's thin enough that we will be able to drizzle this on top of our hand pie. So I think this is perfect. So I'm gonna set that there and we will have about one minute left on the hand pie. So they're almost finished. I did rotate those trays halfway through and I was able to get um, one and a half more pies. I probably should have rolled out my dough just a little bit thinner and I would have been able to get four whole hand pies. So remember the recipe, make, the recipe makes eight, but I was doing a half batch of pie crust since I used the other um, pie crust for my uh, dinner. Okay, so I did put these on the parchment paper and then you see they are gonna come off um, real easily, a little bit warm. You just toss that and look, when you use the parchment paper, you, you can just rinse these off and they'll be ready for the next, the next recipe. So let me toss this one in here and then, let's see, I don't want to burn myself. I'm really good at doing that, <laughs> so I'm going to try to not do that. So let me just put these right on my large groove cutting board. I have this flipped over since um, I don't, that groove on the other side might get in the way, so I'm using the flat side. So you can see I have three whole hand pies and then one that I made like a pocket. So you'll get to see um, both of those. So worked out good to do it that way. Um, I'm gonna drizzle and see how this uh, works. Yeah, 
see how delicious that is going to be. So we'll drizzle some on this. And then you wanna let these cool just long enough to where they're not too hot to bite into. And that is how you make blueberry hand pies. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I can't wait for you to make this and let me know what you think about the recipe. You can use any flavor jam and any fruits. If you have strawberry jam and strawberries, or if you have blackberry jam and blackberries, um, raspberry jam and raspberries, you can get really creative with what flavor pies. Um, you could do peaches and peach jam. So get creative. Let me know what you make and let me know what you think about it. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here and also go to theflipflopchef.com. Click the button at the top of the page to join my recipe community and then you'll be all set. So I'll see you soon. Bye everyone.